Right, Ada's relentless rain dumping more than a foot of water in many places across South Florida. In fact, look at parts of downtown Miami and Brickell left severely flooded. South Florida's agriculture industry also taking a hit. Farmers telling us they have to try to wait for this to dry out before they you can even know how much of their crop has been lost. And total desperation for thousands of homeowners like this couple in Northwest Miami Dade. We watched them live grabbing buckets with hopes of just scooping that water out and just fighting those rising waters. We know that was the case for many people yesterday, and it's likely to continue till today with all the water sticking around. Local 10's Parker Branton joining us live this morning from Miami Gardens with more. Parker. Eric, good morning. This neighborhood in Miami Gardens still dealing with a lot of water. Not only neighborhoods, but places like schools and golf courses still dealing with flooding as well. Trump Doral Golf Course invaded with water. At the Warehouse District in Medley, some roads impassable. Flood water spotted across Miami-Dade County. Nick Thomas shows us the water inside his Miami Gardens home. It's been, been this long time. We've never been like this for a long time. People living in the Lejeune Gardens neighborhood say they've never seen flooding get this bad. Some of the canals overflowing. Ready to move. That's what I did. I'm ready to move. Every time it rains, it's like this. In Hialeah, Daylin Lovett watched as each passing car pushed the flood water closer to her family's home. The more cars will pass by, the more water comes in. And that's what's scary because it's like, right, it's just one step to the door. And in Northwest Miami-Dade, this couple used buckets trying to bail out their backyard. Navigating flooded streets was a gamble for drivers who often didn't know if they would make it until it was too late. But some found creative ways to get around. We spotted water skiing, ATVs and boats, and even flamingo inflatables. Life's about floating around and swimming. Just keep swimming, man. Some people having fun, others have a headache because they've got much to clean up after this flooding invaded their neighborhoods. That's the case for this spot here in Miami Gardens. Uh, the most they can do at this point is wait for those waters to recede. Now we're taking a look at flooding across Miami-Dade County. You can follow me on social media at Parker WPLG on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to take a look at where it's still happening. We're live in Miami Gardens this morning. Parker Branch and Local 10 News.